Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's day two. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what we accomplished yesterday. Yeah. To get the first layer of the roof. How do you think it went yesterday? Great. Sun is shining and uh, lovely. We have the materials and uh, yeah. You can look down at the stream from yeah. here. So today, same job on the other side. to uh, investigate our new property. Yes, let's see where we live right now. We have the stream right there, so kind of nice. The previous owner said we could have a nice garden here. Yeah. We take down some of the trees maybe. No, I want a forest. I think we have a plenty of area that's open with no trees. This pole and this rock is marking the property. This way mm -hmm. and that way. And then we could uh, have our canoe here so we could sail to the lake up there. It's 8.30 or something. Yeah, it's time for a second breakfast. Second breakfast. <laughs> so sweet. Julian has set up the hammock for me so I can rest <laughs> in the day. <laughs> Yesterday we uploaded the first video about this house, which is chapter 26, and I was kind of nervous. What if there's like negative feedback? What if people think that it's a bad thing that we're buying this house, that we are taking the opportunity from someone else, or I don't know. Nobody had had their eye on this house. Nobody was planning on buying it. So <laughs> the neighbors who have been walking by, talking to us and saying hello, they've all been like, Oh, wow, that's a lot of work. That's a bold move. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and so sweet. And everybody has been so nice. And I think it's really exciting to follow along on the project and see how we're doing. So it, it, it's kind of cool. Anyways, um, we had some lovely comments. And most of them were like, don't do it. Don't buy it. <laughs> I am in love with this place. It's in the middle of the forest and with trees, high trees all around. It's just so beautiful, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Oil. This is my first chainsaw. Mm -hmm. Actually the second. I bought one uh, 14 years ago and uh, it was like, quite cheaper but um, I think I used it for uh, like 10 minutes and then I decided that uh, I wanted one that was more powerful. So, And then I bought this one. Double the price but uh, at least double the power. And I still have it. It, I think it's great for this uh, kind of uh, tough work. Let's get started. I think it's uh, the chain has. Uh, oh, be careful! It is so nasty. I think it's uh, some time ago I've used this one. So.
ready to tear some roof down mm -hmm. on this side. It's not as damaged as the other side, no. but it still needs to be changed. <laughs> Probably have something to drink first. Something to what? Drink. Okay, good idea. You sound reasonable now. We have one room left to show you, and that is the upstairs. So this will be the bedroom, <laughs> hopefully one day. And today we are gonna be tearing these, this old roof apart. So there's gonna be an open sky and we can lie in the bedroom watching the stars if we want to. <laughs> I think Julian has already started. He's really eager to to get moving. We finished taking down the roof tiles and now it's time to take down the rest of the roof. Hello. <laughs> now we have a hole in our roof. What? We have a hole. Also there. So we have to be careful. Can you show me the saw? That's a cool. I am enjoying the live show. Julian is really cautious when it comes to me <laughs> being on the roof, doing the stuff that could be dangerous. He prefers to do that himself. And then in a bit, when he's done, I will go up and help him clean up. But first I will think I will prepare a cup of tea and some chocolate for him. He's been working really hard. I'm so proud of him. And I'm so proud of us doing this project. It's day two, and this is how far we've gotten. In 2005, there was a storm here called the Gudrun, and uh, she knocked down some trees, and uh, a big tree fell down on the roof on this house. So that's why it's really damaged. I think I heard Julian mention that it's just all rotten up there. So it was a good decision to make a brand new roof and get rid of it all, like all the old. Are you done? Done. Good job. Thank you, Annie. While Julian tried to haul the heavy rafters down, I went for a little walk, exploring our new surroundings. Right now, this place might not look like much with the renovation mess, but just imagine in the summertime, waking up in the morning, hearing the birds and watching the sun rise above the treetops. 
taking a nice cup of tea outside, maybe picking some berries for the breakfast table, spending the day in this simple fairy tale forest. I imagine I'm walking around with an apron, tending to our garden, reading books in the shade under a tree and making videos for you about whatever you want to hear more about. And then going to sleep under the night sky right above us. I have to admit, I was really fond of the view from the loft when the roof went down. We joked about having a glass roof, but that might get a little hot in the summer and perhaps problematic in heavy rain and snow. But we agreed on having big farmhouse windows. 